So I've been playing around with a lot more resin recently and I just got a new set of molds and I got this really cool kind of like old looking ashtray mold and I really want to make one but I don't smoke so you know we're gonna give it to my grandma and my grandpa and she loves lavender so I have a whole bunch of dried flowers that I got from when I was in Seattle this past month or two ago. And I have a whole bunch of colors, but I'm gonna focus mostly on doing lavender. I'm also gonna use a bit of this like lavender metal flake from Paint Huffers. And yeah, we're gonna just kind of mess around. I'm probably gonna do this in stages. Um, I've already mixed up my resin. Um, I just got a gallon of it in the mail. I use art resin and I love it. It dries super quickly. It's about six hours to set up, but um, I kind of want flowers in the middle. I want this to be a lot of flake. I want the sides here to kind of have some like floating flowers in it. So might have to do this in layers, but I think what I'm gonna do is mix up a bit of flake and resin in another cup here. Um, that way I'm not ruining all the resin with flake. Let's do about that much. Sure. Ooh, it's dripping. This is super messy, but I don't really care. This is definitely really fun, and I've already had way too much fun today making things. Um, I just got these molds in the mail, and I've already made a ton of stuff. You can see of a corner of a mold over there maybe i'll do a whole bunch of like unmolding in this video since i have a couple coasters and another ash tray ash tray already in the works but yeah so i'm just mixing up some of this flake this flake is so pretty and there's no like good way for me to get this in just the edge. Ooh, there's no good way to do this. Ooh, yes there is. I have these little like pipettes that I got. This might be a horrible idea. Suck up some of this flake. <laughs> Okay, yeah, cool. Cool, cool. Cool. So I want it to be kind of in the top here. So, ooh, maybe like this. I mean, that worked. That, it got it. I can't show you. <laughs> it got it in that edge. You can kind of see it's in there. This is gonna take forever though if I do it this way. And there's still a lot of flake in here. Not a fan of this method. Oh my God, I made a mistake. So I think actually what I'm gonna do is just lift up this lip. And we're just gonna pour it in because I honestly just don't care. If it gets on the sides, it gets on the sides, but. This is way easier. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah, so you should probably be wearing gloves when doing this. Um, but you know what? I'm a bad example. Don't don't follow my example. Okay, so I have resin all on the bottom there. You can see it. Okay, we have a purple top. So this is just clear resin. We're just gonna pour it in the middle here. It'll honestly kind of look cool if we have a bit of glitter up top here. So I'm just gonna move it around. How'd you break in? I had my cats locked out. <laughs> no, Baba. I didn't want you in here. I didn't. I didn't. 
So I'm just gonna take apart these flowers now because I kind of want some like down in the edges here. Um, so we're just gonna like rip them. Well, that didn't really work, whatever. We're just gonna rip them apart. They're super spiky, so it kind of hurts. Why are you yelling at me, babes? You can't be on mama's lap. I got resin everywhere. Okay, this is easier said than done. Oh my gosh, these do not want to come apart today. These darker ones are super pretty too. Okay, so now that I have those, we're just gonna take this toothpick and stab them and just kind of drop them down into the sides here. Because since I poured that clear on top, um, it did kind of go down into the side. So there's a bit of just clear resin in there that these are going to be kind of sitting in and on top of. Where they look like they're floating almost. At least that's the plan. That's what I think is going to happen. I think it'll be super pretty. I might do like an accent of silver maybe. I don't know. I don't know how crazy I want to get with it. Okay, so I have that. Um, I think what I'm going to do is pour in some more resin. Should I mix a bit of purple? Uh, let's pour in some more. So this is definitely raising the sides here, but there's definitely flowers in there. There's resin, it's pretty much to the top. I don't think I'm gonna completely fill this up today. So now I'm putting these leftover little pieces just in and around here. I still have all this flake, so we're going to put it kind of around the edge. I'm going to keep most of this flake on kind of like the outside, because I am going to put some flowers in here now. Okay, so now that I have resin everywhere, I'm gonna take all these light bundles of flowers and we're gonna stick them right in there. You do want to pick kind of like flatter flowers for this. Otherwise they'll poke up through the resin. Use that guy with the stem because that looks kind of cool. I also have kind of like this like dried baby's breath that I think could look cool in here. I'm gonna break off pieces of that. Okay. 
and I still have some resin left over and I don't want it to go to waste. So I think we're gonna pour it in and around the flowers. And then I still have just a bit more of the clear. I'm going to pour that. Try and keep it on top of the flowers so that I know everything's like for sure and in there and not going to move. So now that all the resin is there, what I'm going to do is take a tiny bit of... I'm going to take a tiny bit of purple enamel and I'm actually going to mix this with a bit of white to make a very light lavender color. So since this is a oil-based enamel, it doesn't mess with the resin that's in here. So it'll kind of act as like a dye almost or an ink or a paint. And I'm just going to make some like little swirls and just like dotting it in. You can see that already start to explode in that in, in that that resin so i'm just gonna put a bit of this purple all around because i think it looks kind of cool and it'll continue to spread throughout the resin not like too crazy So as you can see, the flowers are still sticking out of this mold. We still have, oh, it's hard to get a video. We still have to fill this up. So all this, I'm going to keep pushing it down. Make sure that, you know, it's set in the resin. And again, we're putting another layer yet again on top of this. So I'm going to watch it. It's still super movable right now. The resin, it's not very set up at all. Um, so you can see how easy it is to move and distort. So there's still a lot of space that needs to be full. This resin mold needs to be filled all the way to the top. Um, I'm going to let it sit and dry. And then we will come back and put another layer on top. I'm just going to keep you know, watching this for now. But once it's dry, we're gonna put another layer on top. I just don't want the flowers to float to the top. So I have the final layer on top of here. Um, I ended up just doing another clear resin and then a tiny bit of flake and mixing around some more of that lavender color. And you can see I filled it directly to the top, like flat. So there's no flowers sticking out, nothing. So yeah, we'll come back in a couple hours and demold this guy. Guess what gets to be unmolded after I eat my lunch? The mold. There's a bit of a flower that's stuck up a bit, but you can see I filled it straight to the top. So I need to find an open edge here. There was just one. I just had my finger. There it is. Maybe? Yeah, that's an edge. Oh my god. <laughs> there we go. There we go. There we go. Oh, this is so satisfying. Oh, there's a design in it. I didn't know that. Did I? I'm so excited to see this. I really hope this turns out like the back is super pretty. So I'm hoping that the front is just as pretty. To clean up the bottom of this later. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Oh my gosh. This is, oh my gosh. Oh, 
Okay, only thing I'm noticing that kind of is a bummer. My flowers kind of sunk. So they're not as like high as when I placed them last. Oh <laughs> my God, that's pretty. Oh, this is super pretty. Oh my God. Oh wow, I really like this. Whoa, wait. What? <laughs> this is like super pretty. Look at that. You can see, let's put it down. Flowers in it. Some of the flake again rose so i definitely need to do the flake at a different time my flowers on the sides sunk down but i mean that's fine i did not know they were gonna do that i guess they didn't sink they floated they rose because i did it this way i like how all the flake is at the bottom though this is so pretty. I really like this. You can't even really tell it's an ashtray. Like there's like the little indents on the sides here. Like one, two, three, but like, that's super cute. I'm just all paintbrushes. Um, so yeah, that was another resin video i'm really enjoying playing with resin i think this year i honestly just want to play with like anything and everything so um yeah it's gonna be a little bit of painting this year it's gonna be cups it's gonna be resin things it's pinstriping i want to pinstripe this year um i got some new paint in the mail coming it's just gonna be a mixture of everything this year I can't get over how cool this is, and I hope my grandma likes it. I'm in the process of making one for my grandpa, which is going to be cool, too. I'll insert a picture of it at the end, because it's going to take me a couple days to, you know, edit this video. Oh, my God, that hurt. But, yeah. So, yeah. I hope you enjoyed this video. I for sure did. Be sure to watch out for more videos. <laughs> okay, bye.